Angular frequency is another way of uh, representing or denoting the frequency of a signal and the relationship between angular frequency omega and the frequency f in hertz is given as omega equals 2 pi f. Now the angular frequency omega can be interpreted or thought of as the rate at which a phasor as shown by the red line in this figure rotates along the circle. So the number of rotations this rotating phasor completes per second denotes the angular frequency. Since a circle, a complete circle, comprises 360 degrees or 2 pi radians, a frequency of 1 hertz means the phasor completing one full circle in one second. That means one full circle corresponds to 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. So f equal to 1 hertz the frequency f equals 1 hertz will therefore correspond to the angular frequency omega being 2 pi into 1 which is 2 pi radians per second that means the phasor has completed an angle or rotated by an angle of 2 pi radians in 1 second and if the frequency is 2 hertz that would mean the phasor has completed two complete rotations around the circle in one second so that would mean it has completed 4 pi radians per second now the phasor may be rotating in either in the clock uh, counterclockwise direction or uh, it may also be rotating in the clockwise direction so when the phasor is rotating in the counterclockwise direction then the frequency is interpreted or denoted as positive frequency so if we have uh, positive frequency positive positive frequency that means the phasor rotating in phasor rotating in the anti-clockwise or counterclockwise direction anti direction so so that corresponds to positive frequency now rotating in the and that is the negative frequency so anti-clockwise direction is positive frequency and clockwise direction is negative frequency so the rate at which it completes one second is the frequency and the direction of rotation refers to the frequency being positive or negative with positive frequency corresponding to anti-clockwise direction and uh, negative frequency negative frequency is the phasor rotating in the clockwise direction all right so the angular frequency is the amount of angle the angle covered by the rotating phasor in one second and that angle is positive if it is rotating in the clockwise uh, counterclockwise direction and if the phasor is rotating in the clockwise direction then the frequency is denoted or interpreted as being negative frequency it should be remembered however that negative frequencies do not exist in reality and we can't generate any signal which has a negative frequency in the real world but uh, negative frequencies arise only as a mathematical convenience as we will see in later lectures thank you